all right welcome back guys now in this one we are going to we are going to um create the functionality that will update the um time as the track plays okay so that's what we're going to do in this one right i mean this time here to keep counting up until the end of the track right so first off we're going to add an event listener so let me scroll up and the project is getting very large but don't worry we're not afraid so we're going to add an event listener on this track right this track variable we created here document.create element so i'll say track dot add event listener and what am i going to listen for well i'm going to listen for what is known as time update okay then i'll call a function that will i will name song time update okay i should have actually say update song time but whatever so song time update and let's go and uh create that function so i'm going to scroll down and here I would say I would say update let me just add a comment here I'll say update current uh, song time okay so now let's create the function I'll say come on I'll say function and song time update okay great now we're going to create a lot of variables here that will represent the current minutes the current second right so the minutes is going to be here the second is going to be here then we're going to then get the duration minutes and duration seconds okay so let's uh, get started so i'll say let's and here i'll say current minutes sorry current minutes be equal to so we're going to use the math property i'll say math dot floor okay and then here i'll say track dot current time current time okay and i'm going to divide by 60. now the thing is um the timing uh, of the song is actually in seconds right is in second yeah it's in seconds okay so if a song is maybe two minutes right the default timing is actually 120 seconds okay that's two uh, 60 seconds times two okay so that's why we are dividing it by 60 to get the current minutes okay so i'm going to duplicate this downwards and i'll just change this one to current seconds so i'll say s e c s plural so it's going to be math dot floor and here we're going to say so let me just get rid of this stuff here so current time track dot current time minus current minutes right times 60. so there's a lot of math going on here okay so this is for the current minutes then for the i'm going to duplicate these two lines so let me just do that and this one i'm going to change to this will be duration so duration minutes and seconds so this will be math.floor and instead of track.current time it will be track.duration so i can actually just do the two together let me escape so one two and i'll just change it to duration okay and here we're going to change this to duration minutes times 60 okay all right so now let's come down here and we're going to add an if uh some if statements to update it and basically what we want to do here is that um we want to append a zero for when let's say the second is a single digit so from zero to nine we're going to append a zero to um the seconds and we're going to do it for both the current time and the current duration or the song timing and the song duration so it's very similar to what we did when we were 
building a countdown okay so here i'll say if here we're going to say if du duration seconds right is less than 10 okay so what do we want to do well we're going to append the zero to it so i'll say duration seconds is equal to so let's say zero plus duration seconds okay so we just appended the zero to it so we're going to do the same so let's duplicate this downwards and we're going to do the same for um what's it called um was current minutes actually okay so here i will say uh so i'll change this to oh i wanted to do everything at the same time so one two and three so i'll change this to current minutes so current minutes okay then i would um i will duplicate this downwards okay let me just copy it and come here and paste it in and here i'll say that if duration second is less than 10 sorry if duration minutes is less than 10 so let me change this you know what let me just undo that right and basically i can actually just duplicate this downwards instead so okay so this duration seconds i'm going to change it to duration minutes here so one two three four and duration minutes come on okay so duration minutes and i would scroll down okay so we've we've appended zero to the duration seconds duration minutes and the current minutes okay so let me see is there any other thing we need to do okay there's one thing we're missing out and that is the current seconds okay so here i'll just duplicate this downwards and i'll change this to current seconds so one okay so it's complete now okay all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to update the uh let me just check something and be sure uh there's something here that I, I i missed out okay so there's an if statement i should have used to open this um function so i'll say if let me open it up like this and here i'll say track dot duration okay this is what i should have actually used to open this up so everything i'm creating here now should actually be inside that if statement okay so i'm going to cut it and i'm going to paste it here because this if statement is also going to have an else block okay so i would control z so i'll just paste all of that here okay so inside this if block here i will then update the current time and current duration okay so let me just go up and show you the variables that we want to update now so we are updating the track current time and track duration okay the track current time is what is here the track duration is what is on the right side okay the left side is the track current time so let's scroll back down and let's update it okay so here i would say let me start with the track current time so i'll say track current time dot inner html is equal to okay so this is going to be equal to current sorry current minutes and then plus i'll then add a, a colon and i'll then plus so this is going to now be current seconds okay now let me just duplicate this down and change some of the things so this one is going to be 
track duration so track duration.innerhtml and this is of course going to be current uh, sorry duration minutes so let me just do it in one swipe so duration minutes and then colon duration seconds okay now in the else block basically what we just want to do in the else block is that we're just going to update it to zero so here i'll just copy this guy here and i'll paste it in and i'll just make this zero zero and i'll just put it in quotes and i'll do the same here so zero zero and i'll put it in quotes okay and then for the duration also i would actually i'll just do this do both of them together so they have the same number of letters so i would and i'll say zero zero and then i'll put them in quotes okay and yeah so basically uh this is i think this is it for how you can update the time so let's save and let's test okay so i'm going to come here and i'll click on play and you see you see it's counting as this um slider is moving okay and of course the duration also is here so let's go to the next one and see so you see the duration and it's also counting okay so um the update time function actually works okay so i think that's enough for this video um in the next video we're going to um, start working on the playlist okay all right thank you so much for watching this one i will see you in the next one